At this point, let's return to our combination of transformations. It'll be a review of transformations, so all of those items that you've seen before, that is reflections, expansion and contractions, translations, they'll all be used again. And you'll be using the same knowledge to look closer at some exponential and logarithmic examples. Example 1. Graph the function y equals 2 ln x plus 1 minus 3. And let's begin by sketching our base function. And in this case, the base function would be y equals ln x or y equals log base e of x. Same thing. To sketch this base, there are two common approaches. Some students would feel comfortable directly sketching that log function, while some would resort back to their exponential inverse. That is, y equals e to the x as the inverse, and sketch that, and then reflect around y equals x, and that would give the graph. Either way is perfectly good. Let's go with method number one in this example. We remember that log functions have a vertical asymptote, so x equals 0. Here's our asymptote for that base. We also remember that log of 1, or ln of 1, will be 0. So we know that we pass through 1, 0 here. And we also remember that any log with the same base as the argument is going to be 1. So our base is e, or 2.72. So we know that when x is e, that is the same as the base being used here, then y equals 1. And we now have enough to sketch a curve. And here's our base. So let's resort to our transformations in the appropriate order, starting with reflections. We don't have any negatives in with the x or y, so we don't have any reflections in this case. So on to the next one. Expansions and contractions. Well, we do have the 2 out front here, and we recognize that as causing a vertical expansion by a factor of 2. So let's apply this vertical expansion. For this point, 1, 0, we multiply the y value by 2, but 0 times 2 is still 0, so this must be an invariant point. That is, it stays in the same position. What about this point here, e, 1? Well, we multiply the y value by 2. 1 times 2 is 2. So our new point, e, 2. And we can now sketch our new curve. Last but not least, we get to our translations. And we can see the need for a horizontal shift by 1 to the left. Then we see a vertical shift down by 3. And there we are. So, all the same steps as before. The only difference here is that we started with a base log function. All good. 